It is Monday, January 2nd, 2012. Um, I think it's a little after 1 o'clock. 1.16. 1.16 p.m. First HVAC video of 2012. There is my grandmother's Goodman. I can hear my neighbor's York heat pump running. But what I really want to film is the XL20i. And I think it might actually be running this time. One, yep, it's running. Excellent. The Bryant is not running. The XL20i is running. And again, that is a Bryant Evolution System 18 sear heat pump from 2006. Three ton. Obviously, it's running in heat mode because it's like in the 30s right now. It's not below, I don't think it's below freezing, but it is in the 30s and it is really cold. And I am still trying to figure out this. Um, the house, I believe, not including the finished basement is like 2,500 square feet. It's probably over 3,000 with the finished basement and the basement doesn't have that much heat load. And I do not know how many nominal tons the original system was. The Bryant that was here before the train was a five ton and I believe that was oversized. And now this XL20i is a three ton and I don't know if it is undersized or just the right size. I would have thought they'd put a four ton in this house, but I mean it is very well installed. Train XL20i Comfort Link 2. the compressor really good. And there's the reversing valve. You can actually see all the guts really good. Teflon, do not overheat. Very nice unit. Don't think it's frozen up though. So yeah, again, this is a three ton. It replaced a five ton, which was, I believe, oversized for the house. The house is two stories and 2,500 square feet, roughly, not including the finished basement. And I do not know if this unit is just the right size or if it is undersized. It does not have windows on the two interior walls because it's a middle unit condo, but I don't, that takes a little bit of heat load off of it, but I, I don't know. There must be something that the uh, installer put into the load calculation that made him um, choose to put in a three ton because my grandmother's neighbor's house is the exact same model and it has, or the exact same floor plan and it has, a four ton heat pump. 
So I don't know. But it seems to be working fine. I'm going to try to upload this through my Adobe um, Elements Premiere. See how that comes out. set suction really hot so that is a definite indication that it is running in heat mode that and the fact that the air coming out of the top of the unit is freezing cold This has demand defrost, so it'll only go into defrost when it's actually frozen. The Bryant would go into defrost, frozen or not, because it had interval defrost, and that was just a base model. All right. So this has been a train XL20i 3 ton heat pump running in heat mode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.